and you'll notice an improvement in yourself and how you're answering questions on your world and I think you'll feel more prepared taking the exam because I definitely did and one of the most important things that I did and you can do is Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. If you're new here, my name is Talia and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my exact study routine for how I got ready for the NCLEX and passed in 75 questions. So just a little bit of a background about when I started studying and what happened and everything. I graduated nursing school in August and I started studying around mid-September. Um, that was when I purchased UWorld. But when I tell you I started studying, um, I was only doing like five questions a day. Sometimes I was doing no questions and it was really bad. I was just trying to kind of ease myself into it in the beginning and work up my stamina to more questions because I just couldn't start doing like a hundred questions a day right off the bat. I thought I was going to get way too burned out. So in the weeks that followed, I worked up to 20 questions, 30 questions in one sitting, and so on and so forth. Then I got my ATT, which if you don't know what that is, it means the authorization to test and sit for your NCLEX. So I got that email, I want to say like at the end of October. And then when I got that, I was like, okay. I picked a test date, I really had to start studying, and I knew my test was going to be in November. So I started picking up the pace, and then I started doing like 50 questions a day, and 75, and then I started like really working up to doing 50 in the morning, and 50 at night. And this was like about two or three weeks leading up to the exam. So yeah, overall, doing like 100 questions every day and sometimes even more. I think the most that I did in one day was maybe like 200, um, but I really don't recommend cramming it all in like that because you will burn yourself out. So try to do like 100, 120-ish a day and I think that would be a really good sweet spot in the weeks leading up to your exam. And then when I purchased my UWorld subscription, I purchased it with a practice assessment. So I purchased it and got the practice assessment, except I didn't use the practice assessment until about four days before my exam because I wanted to know where my weak areas were right before the exam to see if there was anything I could look over and just do some more tweaking to my studying a little bit. When I did that practice assessment, I got an 85% chance of passing and I scored a 75 on it. I wouldn't get too hung up on the percentages and like what you score on these assessments because the most important thing is knowing that you understand those rationales. So what I did when I was studying in UWorld was that I would create these tests and I would set it to tutor mode. Then I would compile all of the questions from all the different subject areas available in the question bank. And this really helped me when it came to the NCLEX because on the exam, they're not going to just test you on one content area. They're going to test you on a couple of different ones. Like you might be tested on OB, PEDS, and Psych, for example. So you want to be ready for anything that they're going to throw at you and be able to get your mind to jump from topic to topic instead of just focusing on one thing all the time. After I took the practice assessment, I went back and saw the things that I got wrong on the practice assessment, and then I started narrowing down my world questions only on those specific areas. So my weak areas were OB and some psych stuff, GI, GU. So when I went back, I tried to make specific questions tailored to just those subjects because I had a good mastery of some of the other things that were still available in the question bank that I didn't need to do as much anymore. So I wanted to focus on my weak areas because there were only a couple of days left until the exam. So if that's the position you're finding yourself in, I would definitely say start with a random assortment of questions throughout your study routine and then when you're getting closer to the exam hone in on your weaker areas. Something else I wanted to mention when you're getting ready for the NCLEX is to not worry about taking notes on all of the rationales. This can be a huge time waster when you're trying to get through the question bank on UWorld. When I got to almost the end of my question bank I had about 200 questions left. 
and the question bank started out at 2,200 questions. So that's really what you want to try to do is get through as many questions as you can so you can read as many rationales as possible and don't focus so much on writing everything down because those things are going to come up again and again and you're going to keep seeing them. But writing things down, I would really only suggest doing that for like things that you just need to memorize and just need to know, like lab values or anything that you have a super hard time conceptualizing. But other than that, I really didn't spend much time on writing things down and try to just get through the questions and read those rationales. Also, just a quick thing that I wanted to add in case you guys might not know, but UWorld is so similar to how the NCLEX looks. And I'm talking about in terms of the colors and everything like that. So if you feel comfortable using UWorld and you like the layout of it and the format and everything, that's really good because that's setting you up for basically what the NCLEX is gonna look like. Something else that I did to kind of get my brain ready for what it was gonna be like to take the NCLEX was doing a computer adaptive test on Nurse Achieve. And I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but it's basically a website where it has a question bank and you can sign up for it for free, I think, right now. And what it lets you do is take this computer adaptive test that is kind of similar to how it's going to be for the NCLEX because it goes based off of how you're answering the question. So if you're answering a question correctly, then it'll give you something harder. Or if you're answering a question wrong, then it'll give you an easier question and it goes like that. So that computer adaptive test was really good just to like get my brain into the right mentality and the right like state of mind to not get so hung up on oh my god like how am I doing oh they're giving me like easier questions harder questions am I doing good like it was really good for just blocking all of that out of my head and just trying to focus on question per question and seeing how long I would take to answer a computer adaptive test and how the questions got harder and harder or easier and easier. Now, I wouldn't recommend this test bank really at all to study off of. I would really just use it for that one computer adaptive test or two and see if it gives you a passing score. I got a score of just pass. I think they give you different levels of passing, like very likely to pass or something like that. But I just got pass and I, again, I wouldn't use the questions in this question bank because they're not written out in the best way. Some of them are grammatically incorrect and they're really confusing and the rationales are just like not that good. You're better off just focusing on doing more questions and rationales in the world. But doing at least one computer adaptive test before taking the NCLEX really can prepare you for what it might be like. And then the last and one of the most important things that I did and you can do is listen to the Mark Klimek lectures. These were everything when it came to studying for me. And if you haven't heard about the Mark Klimek lectures, definitely try Googling them to see if you can find them. They're definitely worth looking into. But basically what it is, is that it's a series of lectures that goes through different content areas that would appear on the NCLEX and how to best answer those questions based off of testing strategy. This lecture review series really focuses on not so much teaching you what you don't already know because it's true like at this point you already know what you know from nursing school and if you don't know it by now you're probably not going to learn it or learn it as well as you could have before when you were in school. So right now is the time to focus on testing strategy and this lecture review series is really great for that and my favorite one in the series was the prioritization and delegation lecture because it really got me into the right frame of mind and mindset for answering those questions and not getting tripped up when I saw those. I used to be so bad on those questions especially when I was doing like ATI. I just didn't understand like who you should delegate to and when or what patient you should see first so this was really great for that and just eliminating those answer choices to get to the right one that they were looking for. And if you do listen to those lectures, don't do what I did 
and try to listen to them on your drive home or when you're cleaning or something like that. I definitely don't recommend doing that. It's not a good idea. These are lectures that you really have to pay attention to and focus because he gives so many like great nuggets of information that you don't want to miss them. And if you're distracted by doing something else, you'll really only get like half out of the lecture what you could have if you would just listen to it by sitting down and paying your full attention to it. And try just listening to one a day or two or one every couple days leading up to the exam and you'll notice an improvement in yourself and how you're answering questions on your world and I think you'll feel more prepared taking the exam because I definitely did. Just one last thing about UWorld, it's really expensive so if you feel like you can't afford it, which I totally understand, there's another question bank called Archer Review and I'll leave it down in the description. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I'm not sponsored by any of these learning platforms or anything like that. But I just want to link it below because they have a free trial that you can use and before it used to be for like two weeks. Um, now it's just for like I think two days which kind of stinks but you can try signing up for it using different emails and try to get the trial to be extended to however long like you might need it and with that you would have access to questions that look almost exactly like the questions on UWorld. Like it's scary how similar these question banks look but it's pretty cool and it's free and could save you money if you don't want to pay for UWorld. And that's it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it to be helpful. If you did like it, don't forget to leave a like and comment below with what you want to try adding into your study routine from this video or if you've heard of any of these study methods before and what you think about them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!